Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Honda CRV, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. So Honda makes this install really easy for us. We have a pre-wired plug already behind our driver side paneling. So to get behind there, we're going to start by removing our floor mat and our flooring. Now we're going to remove the rear threshold panel. There's two push pins here and here. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to pop that out. There's a tab in the middle. We're just going to push down and then it'll let us push it up. Now we're gonna pull up on the rear threshold panel to remove it. Now we're gonna remove this hook right here. We're just gonna push on the button in the middle and we'll be able to take it right out. Now we're gonna remove this Ready? push pin right here using a trim panel tool. Now we're gonna remove this cargo hook. It's held in by one bolt that we'll remove using a 10 millimeter socket. Next, we need to detach this handle that lowers your back seats. We're gonna take the cover off on the inside by just pushing it in with a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver. Just take that cover off. And that exposes two screws that we'll remove using a Phillips screwdriver. Now we're gonna pull back on our driver's side paneling. We're just gonna use a trim tool to pry it up and out. Now we're going to remove our white quarter panel right here using our trim tool. So that exposes our plug that we'll be using, which is this blue plug right here. We're going to remove it by pushing on this tab. Then we're going to take our T connector from our wiring and we're going to plug it in. Now we're gonna take our white wire with the ring terminal and we're gonna ground it underneath our paneling right here. We're gonna use a provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now in our trailer wiring, we have this plug. We're just going to attach our provided module box onto it. This will power up our wiring. So before we put back together our cargo area, let's talk about where you can store your four flat harness. Now you can leave it inside your cargo area and pull it out through the weather seal and you can just close the trunk on it when you're ready to tow. And then you can just store it by the spare tire. Or you can bring it underneath your vehicle and mount it next to your hitch receiver. That way it's always ready for you to tow. Now to do that, we're gonna take our wiring and we're gonna push it through this vent right here. Now that we pushed our four flat through our vent, we are all done in our cargo area. So we're gonna go ahead and put it all back together. Now we have a seven and a half amp fuse that we need to plug in to power up our trailer wiring. Now our fuse panel is located underneath our dash and it's just on this position right here. And then we'll go ahead and plug that in. So underneath our vehicle, our four flat just came right down underneath our vehicle. So we're gonna mount it right next to our hitch receiver. Now we have the draw tight hitch installed on our vehicle, which comes with a mounting plate welded onto it. So we're gonna take a four flat mounting bracket and we're going to attach it here using the provided bolts. So we're gonna take our two provided screws and drop it into the holes on our mounting plate. We're gonna take our bracket and line it up with those two screws and then install our two provided nuts. and then we'll tighten them using a 10 millimeter socket. Then we'll take our wiring and we're gonna pull it through our bracket. 
and we'll secure the dust cover. So if you have any extra wire left over, you're just gonna need to bundle it up and zip tie it behind your bumper to keep it out of the way. So with everything hooked up and powered up, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.